My name is Gabriel Jasper, MD, from the Jasper Spine Institute. I'm going to give a little narrative on the endoscopic discectomy with foraminotomy and annuloplasty. In this particular video animation, uh, you see the precision measurements of where you put the needle. You can also do this under tunnel approach with fluoroscopy. It's all done on the fluoroscopy placement of the needle. This is a local anesthetic which is placed before the needle, 16 gauge needle, is directed toward the herniated disc. The herniated disc you already know where it is based on where your MRI herniated disc is. This is a discography which you can see the x-ray with indigo carmine. This impregnates the nucleus pulposa and also the herniated disc, which is visualized endoscopically to help facilitate the location of the herniation. Take a 15 gauge blade, put a little nick, 4 millimeters, through the skin. The wire is placed through the needle, the needle is removed. Then the sequential dilators are placed over the guide wire. Once you dilate it, you start to ream with the reamers. There are three reamers with different sizes, increasing in diameter. Now going down to the spine, you can see the superior articulating process, which is being reamed with the reamer. The part in blue, which is a protrusion of the disc, after reaming it, it makes it easier to get access to the herniation and it also forms a foraminotomy to open up the neuroforamina for more space for the nerve root. You can also put in through the working channel which you can see right there reamers or in this case you can see a shrill which is a drill which takes down the bone spurs relieving the exiting nerve root as you can see it expand you can take down the end plate and also more of the facet joint. Once you expose the herniation, you go in there with graspers or forceps under direct visualization and you pull out the herniation until you see the traversing nerve root, which you can see behind the herniation, which is pushed up against the lamina, creating pain. As you pull it out, you can see. In the background, the traversing nerve root decompressing. Once it's completely decompressed, you can tell by looking at it directly, visualization. Now you come in with the bipolar radio frequency and you perform an annuloplasty, which seals the annular tear that you find in the disc the actual defect where the herniation came out of. It also will take down some debris, excess debris from the herniation so that the tear will heal up on its own. Once this is done you inspect the area, make sure all the nerves are free and the surgery is complete. The incision is closed with an absorbable suture, a band-aid is placed, the patient is then brought to the recovery room and discharged to home the same day. At the Jasper Spine Institute, this procedure is done all under local anesthetic with sedation and no general anesthesia. Thank <laughs> you.